So GI is committed to uh, the race to zero and uh, hitting our carbon um, obligations by 2026 to be net zero. Um, and part of that for me is uh, taking part in local projects and programmes. And the one that we're particularly proud of is um, helping Project Seagrass. Seagrass is our flowering plants that, that live in the oceans. They then form these huge um, habitats covering large areas of the seabed. Seagrass is important because it creates this three-dimensional habitat in an otherwise quite barren environment and that creates a home for biodiversity. It's also increasingly recognised because it's a very good way of locking up carbon into, into the marine sediments. Just like terrestrial forests are, are considered for their, their role in locking carbon out of the atmosphere, um, seagrasses also do the, do the same. At CGI we strive to protect the environment through sustainable solutions for our clients, our own net zero plan by 2026 and responsible operating practices. Project Seagrass was formed because the world largely doesn't recognise that seagrasses are an important part of our ocean biodiversity and our ocean resources. In order to protect larger areas of seagrass we need to know where it is. CGI and Project Seagrass are here today. We are in the Severn Estuary. I'm joined today by Danny Rice from Project Seagrass. Danny, tell us why we're here in this particular environment. So we are here today to, to potentially see one of Wales' biggest seagrass meadow sites. And it's in a very inaccessible location due to the mud flats, the turbidity and the strong uh, currents from the Severn Estuary itself. And we're really pleased and proud that our high-end technology from space can help identify where these areas of seagrass are. We've been working with Earth Observation for, for many years. Uh, we've been involved leading some Copernicus missions and Geodata 360 gives us all, including Project Seagrass, a real leg up because we can peel back layers of the sea to understand where that seagrass is using various algorithms that we've developed in partnership with Project Seagrass. Over, over the past few centuries we've ignored the importance of our oceans and basically uh, use them as a dumping ground and, and we're trying to enhance the, um, the understanding, the appreciation of this amazing habitat. We're working with Project Seagrass on a voluntary pro bono basis and we'll also be planting 50 bags of seagrass seeds across Wales and working with the communities to release stem packs to everybody to ensure that the importance of seagrass is understood as one of the most vital resources available to help protect our planet today.